Hey everyone, this week at RiffOfTheWeek.com, a very special milestone, 400 episodes. And to be honest, I am just getting started. Riff of the Week is morphing into something much bigger, with version 2 coming very soon, and then beyond that, already in development, it's very exciting. So, you hear me talk about Riff of the Week every single week, obviously, but a lot of you don't know what it is. Let me summarize it for you very quickly. You're learning your theory, your technique, all sorts of stuff that you're inputting. The question, the critical question, is can you combine all that stuff and spit it back out in the form of some sort of creative, usable, musical concept, that being the lick or riff? And then that's not where it stops. Beyond that, can you implement it into your playing? Because learning another lick is, it is what it is. We can do that all day, every day. But do we know how to internalize it make it our own, and implement it into our musical situation. That is exactly what Riff of the Week covers. Not one of those things, but all of those things each week. I show you, hey, let's take this theory and this technique, let's combine it into some sort of creative musical idea, and then let's implement it over the track. That's what you get for your 99 cents, a very critical element that is missing from most guitar education resources. How do we input? turn it around, do something creative with it, and then output. That's it. All right, thank you for listening to my spiel. What are we doing this week at Riff of the Week? <laughs> Combined member request for this 400th episode, something shreddy, something satisfying because it's impressive. Uh, but regardless of how it looks and sounds, I assure you, it is actually something very simple. That's what we're doing today at riffoftheweek.com. 99 cents a week gets you in the door and gets you all of this. Here's to 400 more. I'll see you over there.